there's another tornado brewing over there in the name of NUA. He just won. That is a bad dude. You hear me? 71, I know he way over there in Japan or whatever he is, but that is a bad dude. You understand me? They yeah. don't give him the credit because we don't see him that much. That dude right there, I think that dude really is. The boxing world is buzzing after Noya Inu's latest performance against TJ Domini. Inu, the reigning super bantamweight champion, dominated the fight early Tuesday morning in Tokyo. He secured another title defense with a TKO in the seventh round, thanks to his punishing body shots. After delivering heavy blows in the sixth round, Anu sealed the win with a left hook to Doheny's side, aggravating the 37-year-old challenger's existing back injury. Visibly limping, Doheny couldn't continue, leading the referee to call the fight. It's a muscle right above my hip, Sean. I can just, I just can't use my leg. All of a sudden, felt the leg go dead, leg, right? Right leg. I tried to push off. When I come back out, I tried to push off, and I went, nah. Yeah, but you could see it. Anu controlled the fight, though Doheny fought valiantly to stay in the game. By the end, Doheny needed assistance to reach the locker room, as his back and left leg had seized up. Despite his efforts, he couldn't keep pace with the 31-year-old legend. However, tougher challenges may lie ahead. After the match, Inu's promoter, Bob Aram of Top Rank, announced that Inu has one more title defense scheduled for Japan in 2024 before heading to the US for a Las Vegas showdown. True greatness in a fighter is recognized when the conversation shifts from their victories to the search for someone who might stand a chance against them. This is the case with Inu. As soon as he secured his latest win, discussions began about his next potential challenger. On ESPN's post-show, Timothy Bradley and Bernardo Osuna highlighted Japanese champion Junto Nakatani as a possible contender. Bradley believes Nakatani's three-inch height advantage and powerful punches could pose a real threat to Inu. Currently reigning as the 118-pound champion, it remains to be seen if Nakatani's power can trouble Inu. If Aram, Top Rank, and Inu seek a greater challenge, an exciting option could be moving up multiple weight classes to face Gervonta Tank Davis. At the end of the day, I think he should come here to America, man. He should get get he should get in this market right here. Um, but again, it all depends on if that's what he wants, if that's what he wants out of his career. Like you said, Paulie, he sells out over there in in, in, ja in Japan. Maybe he likes you know? the peace, maybe he likes the peace and quiet when he comes here, because exactly. I guarantee you, you can't walk around in Japan. That you know, exactly, he's a, he's a major, so, major phenom in Japan. So, so maybe he likes could be in America, and, and uh, you know, just like a lot of famous Westerners will go east and not be recognized. I think you know, maybe it's a, for a famous Easterner to be pop, not be so popular in the West it can be relaxing for him. I heard he was on Fifth Avenue uh, shopping and stuff, and you know, he's he enjoyed his. Tank is the reigning WBA lightweight champion, holding a title 13 OBS above Eno's undisputed division. Both fighters stand at 5 foot 5, making it plausible that Inoy could handle the additional weight. After all, he's already climbed up from 108 pounds where he claimed his first world championship. I like, um, what's the guy from Japan? Inoy? Inoy? Yeah, yeah. Do you foresee potentially at some day you guys meeting together, maybe at a catch weight or maybe if he keeps going up in weight? Probably. Yeah? That would be a, that would be like a, like a fun fight. Crazy. Yeah, that would be a fun fight. Now that would be technical that fight right there like man him. but i think i i'd be too i'll be too big for him probably yeah i'll be too big for him yeah. yeah but but that fight will be like, it's like a dream fight. yeah yeah, yeah. Facts. if they know he moves up to 135 ulbs or time drops down to 130 ulbs to meet him halfway it could set up one of the most exciting matchups in the lower weight divisions top rank and premier boxing champions have collaborated successfully in the past so there's a possibility that Riot Season and Turkey Alec could step in to help finalize major future bouts. Regardless of what happens, Anoy's star keeps rising with every win. After enduring a barrage of body shots from the four-weight world champion, the Irish fighter seemed to indicate a lower back injury, resulting in the champion being declared the winner by technical knockout. For the 37-year-old Thini, this marked his fifth career loss, while Inoy improved his record to an impressive 28-0. The fight ended on a disappointing note when Dini, after absorbing a straight right from Inoy, raised his right hand in surrender and retreated to his corner. He then crossed the ring to congratulate Inoy, who is widely regarded as the top pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Dini, 
a seasoned veteran with over a decade of experience and a former IBF super bantamweight world champion from 2018 to 2019, had hoped to pull off a major upset after a year of rejuvenating his career. The Southpaw, who has lived in Australia for years, had struggled between April 2019 and March 2023, losing four bouts. However, he made a strong comeback with three wins in Japan, earning him a shot at the 2023 ESPN and Ring Magazine Fighter of the Year. Despite a solid performance at Araki Arena, Ainoi remained in control for most of the match, even before Dainey's injury. How did this fight end? After a cautious start, Anoi shifted his focus to attacking Donini's body, landing a powerful straight right hand that showcased his impressive punching power and ring intelligence. With smart defense, he dominated the third round despite a few solid body shots from Donini. As the fight went on, Anoi maintained a relentless pace, breaking down his opponent with continuous, punishing body attacks. Though the crowd was mostly quiet, they erupted when Anoi delivered a stunning finish in the sixth round. His precise, relentless body shots left Donini visibly exhausted as he staggered back to his corner, Despite having gone the distance in his previous four losses, Donini appeared to be in significant pain when the fight was called just 16 seconds into the seventh round. This victory solidifies Anoi's legacy as a four-division world champion with an undefeated record in all 24 of his title fights. He has held belts in light flyweight, super flyweight, bantamweight, and super bantamweight. Anoi, who claimed the undisputed super bantamweight title in December, is now only the second fighter, after American Terence Crawford, to achieve undisputed world champion status in two different weight classes. It all begins with that signature left hook. Everybody trains for it. Every opponent knows it's coming. But he always finds a way to get it in. Reacting to the fight, Sports journalist Michael Benson tweeted on X that Noia Inu is set to remain very active, with plans to defend his undisputed WBA, WBC, IBF, and WBO Super Bantamweight world titles in Tokyo this December, followed by a fight in the USA in early 2025. Bob Arum added that Inu is slated to headline in Las Vegas. Benson further highlighted Inu's extraordinary achievements at age 31, noting his titles across multiple weight divisions, WBC light flyweight, WBO super flyweight, WBA bantamweight, WBC bantamweight, IBF bantamweight, WBO bantamweight, ring bantamweight, WBA super bantamweight, WBC super bantamweight, IBF super bantamweight, WBO super bantamweight, and ring super bantamweight. Despite Inou's seventh-round stoppage of a former world champion after dominating nearly every round, the result elicited widespread disappointment, a testament to the high expectations surrounding him. His advisor, Sean Gibbons, explained that Dini's injuries were caused by a body shot close to the end of the sixth round. Gibbons mentioned, at the end of the sixth round, he got hit on the backside, turned, and when he got up, felt his leg go dead. The pain was shooting down his leg. You can question whatever you want, but Dini is a tough competitor who has never quit in his life. In his 23rd consecutive world championship bout, Inu minus 28 fights into his professional career, appeared to experiment against Dini, who avoided the spectacular knockout many had anticipated.